These are very crude and basic uses of the t-shirt to choke your enemy momentarily, to gain distance, to control him, to scan for other enemy that do work for us. We've proven them, we do them overseas. Number one, we have the front choke. When we're inside and we're controlling him, all I'm gonna do is take his t-shirt or his collar or whatever clothing he's wearing, I'm gonna wrap it in front of his throat and I'm gonna push him back. This is just gonna control him for a second to where I can look at where my secondary threats are at. Again, we're locked up. I take whatever clothing I have, I crank it in front of his throat. Notice I'm holding on to the clothing in the back. I pull this toward me and I push these two parts together and I pull him to me. I hold him tight and I start looking for my other threats. I break him away and that's when I start hitting him again. Just a momentary uncomfortable choke to gain control of him. If you like free stuff, listen up. We're giving one of these awesome self-defense and survival tools to a lucky YouTube viewer each month. Click the link in the description to enter the drawing and see exactly what we're giving away this month. Okay, back to our video. We have the side choke. Once we're controlling him, my hand may reach across. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that collar and I'm going to take his t-shirt, pull it to the side, control his head. You notice we can grab the other t-shirt or the other part of his shirt or collar, whatever he's wearing, control him, pull those together, pull him in tight to me so that I can scan for my second enemy and look around before I break him away and just start hitting him again. And finally, we have a rear collar choke. I may be in control of him, he may move, and he's gonna spin. I own him, because I'm gonna take this collar and I'm gonna pull it in tight. You notice I got the other collar on the opposite side. I can do it from the rear, I can reach around, I can do it from the front. I can gain control of it, pull him in tight to where we're not going to the ground, to where I can look for my secondary threats, break him off, and just start controlling him, hitting, and driving him down. So again, the purpose of this choking technique is not to grapple, but it's to gain momentarily control, momentary control of my enemy so that I can control him, scan the area for secondary threats, push him away, and lay the hate. Quick reminder about that free product giveaway only for our YouTube viewers. You can't win this awesome gear if you don't enter the drawing. So get to the link in the description now and secure your chance to win. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.